escaped from Tibet with my sister when I was uh, eight years old. It took 29 days to reach Nepal. My story is just an example of one refugee Tibetan girl and there are so many Tibetan girls like me. My dad told me one thing, don't forget what you have to do. I'm going to do Miss Tibet and hopefully I win. <laughs> There wasn't much Tibetan women's participation in show and entertainment. So I thought I must do something about Tibetan women the next year. And then uh, Miss Tibet popped up. It has all the, in Hindi word we call it masalas, you know, the ingredients of you know, all kinds of spices. I'm doing Miss Tibet because it will give me a platform to talk about Tibet's issues. Our Prime Minister was against the beauty pageant. He said, Miss Tibet is un-Tibetan. But you know, our society is quite traditional and uh, conservative. So this way, you know, there's some kind of dividing factors. It's not a question of division in the community. Every thinking Tibetan is divided into between their faith and loyalty to His Holiness and their need and desire for freedom. Not having seen my own country is the biggest disaster of my life. We haven't, we don't have the right, you know, I mean, the basic rights that you take it for granted. This beauty pageant gives contemporary Tibetan women a chance to stand up and talk and to do something for the cause of Tibet. Like His Holiness the Dalai Lama, he said, if there is Miss Tibet, there should be Mr. Tibet as well. Otherwise, there is inequality. In 2011, I'm going to win Miss Tibet and I am ready.